We're going to be making a nice quick snack today. Homemade sausage rolls. Mm -mm. So we're going to get on with making the uh, sausage rolls then. Now I'm going to use some ready rolled puff pastry. I know it's cheating but why not cheat when you can. You can use a block and just roll it out with a rolling pin but um, I mean you see it's it's fairly thin. If you're going to roll it out, about a thickness for a pound coin, I would say. Now, the ready rolled pastry I've got here, the puff pastry, there's two sheets. So, I'm going to measure them up, and this is one sheet. So, I reckon I've got two big sausage rolls there, and another two on this side as well. So, what I'm going to do is cut the puff pastry and roll them up. And what I'm going to do is just use a knife, and I'm going to just cut down the middle there. So that's there, and I'm going to cut this in half across the middle here. That's it. Again, I'm just going to do on the other side. This one, I'm going to use a pizza roller because I think it's actually a bit easier. Pizza cutter, that is. So I'm going to lay those out and put the sausages on there. Now, with the sausages, you want to take the skins off really, otherwise, you can use sausage meat. Okay, I've got all the sausages, taken the skins off, and they're all ready to roll up. Now what I'm actually going to do is to add some fillings into here. Now I've got pesto, cranberry sauce, Dijon mustard, and whole grain mustard, and I'm going to leave these four plain. But there's a lot of other ones you can use as well. I mean, you can use sun-dried tomato paste, red onion jam, apple sauce, whatever you like, and whatever sort of sausage you like, so you can mix and match. Now I'm just going to spread it out right up to where the sausage is and do that with the rest of them so I've got all the fillings spread out so that's all ready now what I'm going to use here is I've got some beaten egg and what we're going to do is just run that along there and this helps to seal it up after you've rolled it up so I'm just going to do that for all of those and we're going to put this uh, same beaten egg we're going to put that on the outside once it's been rolled up I'm just going to roll these up, so you literally just roll it around. If there's a bit of uh, the stuff oozing out, then just squeeze it back in, because you want plenty of the fill in there. So, just roll that round like so. And again for this one. I mean, obviously, when you're cutting your pastry, do make sure that there's a little bit extra so that you can make it wrap over itself so I'll just carry on for the rest of those don't worry about the oozing out that's, that's all the flavours there so I've got those all finished there's a little join there and the egg obviously seals it up you can always squash the end up and that's the side we're going to put it down on the baking tray so I'm going to transfer these onto a baking tray next just before I put them onto the baking tray I'm actually going to chop them into three so I'll do that for all of those now I've laid my sausage rolls on some greaseproof paper and there's a baking tray underneath because I think using the greaseproof paper it, it helps to prevent them from sticking so much. So I've got my beaten egg and I'm just going to put that on the outside of all the sausage rolls. This helps to give it a nice shine and a bit of colour. So I'm just going to continue doing that for all of them. So I've finished brushing mine, I've got the egg, beaten egg on the outside. With the egg, put a bit of salt and pepper in there as well, just to give it a bit of seasoning. Um, now what we're going to do is to put that into a preheated oven. Don't let them burn, but obviously we want to make sure they puff up nice. Now I've popped the uh, sausage rolls in a preheated oven, 200 degrees centigrade, and we're going to leave that for about 20 minutes. I've just about finished cooking mine. Um, I've left them for a few minutes more just to make sure that the puff pastry is nicely cooked. So I'm going to pull them out and uh, take a look. Taking the sausage rolls out, now what you want to do is just try and, some of them stick if you're not careful, but if you just gently try and scoop underneath, get them all loose. That's it. Now I'm just going to try one of these. Um, maybe I'm going to try that one. Looks nice. All the puff pastry's puffed up. I can feel when I put my fingers in it, sort of ready to crack. It's going to be hot though, let me try it. It's gorgeous. Mmm, really nice. 
the good thing about them is you can put your own fillings, choose your own sausage, really yummy. Enjoy.